everybody. Mike from Most Exotics. <laughs> um, this video we're going to do uh, shipping. We're going to go over the different methods of shipping using either cryo packs or heat uh, heat packs and the different size boxes, um, the different costs for the boxes, and uh, basically how I ship the reptiles. So thanks for checking us out and we'll get to the video. So in this shipment we're doing a 10 by 10 by 10 box. The weight of the box, empty, or not empty, but without the snake, is 644 grams. Um, one pound is 454 grams. So this is actually about a pound and a half. And when I'm shipping, I always round up. I always keep a couple extra pieces of paper in here, just for this, like shipping label or extra stickers or whatever. Um, top foam piece. I got everything in here. I got the bag when I weigh it, I mean. I got the bag, the heat pack. I have newspaper on the top and I have like this pillow stuffing for the bottom um, whenever I ship with the heat um, it actually the shipping company at uh, shipyourreptiles.com they ask for a minimum of 12 by 9 by 6 box this is actually as far as square inches go is bigger um, and whenever I call them for recommendations, I always let them know what size box I'm using, how many snakes I'm using, um, and where it's going to and everything else. So this one's actually going, I pulled up a Colorado zip code, and to ship this with the heat is $90. So, and that's up to 8 pounds. Now, you could ship it, it's pretty much the size of the box, but... If if it's three pounds or four pounds or five pounds, it's still the same price. Um, if it's a seven by seven by six box, then the shipping for three pounds would be sixty three dollars and ninety seven cents. So it does depend on the box, but the smaller the box, there's there's not a whole lot of uh, variation of weight. Like at four pounds, it'll go up to seventy bucks for for the smaller box. But this has got the bigger box, it could hold more weight, um, so it doesn't vary, vary as much. So, <clears throat> yeah, so with everything in here, throw a couple pieces of paper just for like shipping labels and tape and stuff, 644 grams. And this would be used with, uh, with heat tape. So that's how we do one of them. And once I get the snake in here, I'll show you, you know, just how I pack it up and stuff like that. I put the, uh, I tape the heat to the top of the pan, of the foam. And then, uh, yeah, just put it in, put her in there. The heat I use, it's the unit heat. It's made for 40 hours of heat, insects, um, reptiles, amphibians. Um, once I get this open, it takes... Roughly 10-15 minutes to get it to, to heat, but then I tape it with the red side down. This is the top of the box. So the red side is going to be actually up right now, but when I flip it over, it'll be down inside the inside the box. And I always double check this. Make sure it's registering heat. And uh, yeah, should be good for 40 hours. For an overnight shipment, that'd be fine. So it's all taped up. And ready to go. So once I have the snake in the bag, I put a zip tie on here. I don't always do it, but I don't know, just for peace of mind, I'll still tie it. But I'll place the snake in here. And I'll just put newspaper around it. Not too tight, obviously. You got my card. It shows the pairing, the hatch date, what it eat, what's feeding on, the, the last couple of dates it fed. Um, it's got the sex on there, the weight, pretty much everything you need. And then this heat goes over it. I'll put the card on top this time. And then I'll double check the weight. Let 
you're always going to round it up. So 774 grams. One pound is, what's 454? So just under two pounds. Probably round it up to two. But like I said before, as far as two pounds or three pounds or even five pounds for this box, it's going to be the same price. So always round it up. I might even add an extra pound to it just to make sure it's going to pass through shipping and stuff like that. And it's ready to go. Ship the printing label. Printing label always goes on top because when they're packing these things um, in the truck, the shipping label always goes on top. So this way it stays upright. I got a hole on either side. And uh, this guy's going to be ready, or this girl's going to be ready to go. What I got is on these boxes from ship, shipyourreptiles.com. It already, it already has this. If it doesn't, you need a sticker, but you just list what it is, quantity, uh, reptiles, and this is what it is, ball python. Shipping stickers on the top. Um, I make sure I tape it where it's not covering the, the barcode or anything like that. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So I got a hole on this side, on the bottom, and then on this side on the top. And this one's ready to go. So these are the boxes I got going out. Um, this is the seven by seven by six, and the two ten by ten by tens. Um, I got the ten by ten by tens just because I think they were out of the twelve by nine by sixes. Um, but these do run a little bit more money. These are uh, basically seven bucks a box, and the 12 by 9 by 6s are like 550 a box. And then uh, these are about 350 a box. So, you know, prices will vary and stuff like that. Um, this one I have two snakes going in and it's going to Florida. This one's going to, one snake is going to Pennsylvania and another one's going to Kentucky. Now, with shipping to Florida, for example, Obviously, Florida is going to have, you know, the different weather and stuff like that. But I'm going to use these cryo packs. And these cryo packs are nice because they're actually real hard when you get them shipped. But uh, they're actually nice because you could ship over here. It's in the 60s, which is warm enough for heat. But in Florida, it's like 80 degrees. So it's, it's too hot for heat. So I use the cryo packs. These are a little bit more money than the heat packs. Um... These guys run, I think I just ordered six of them for 50 bucks shipped. So, and the heat tape, or the heat, I keep on calling it heat tape, but it's a heat pack, will run uh, basically like a buck a piece. But, these are nice because you warm this up in some water, um, just lukewarm water, and what it'll do is it'll liquefy. I'll put it in a bag, um, like a sandwich baggie, a Ziploc baggie, and tape it to the side of the box. It does not need to be on the top of the box like a like the heat because it's just uh, it's just lukewarm. It's not going to be 100 degrees, but it'll provide enough heat to get out of this area, and it'll cool down by the time it gets to like Florida or where wherever it's warmer at. So um, this box here, it's a little bit older box, but it didn't have the that side uh, label on it, so I I got stickers for it, and I uh, got it labeled and everything. I got the holes on the side, one on the top on one side, on the bottom on the other side. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, different size boxes used for shipping and uh, basically the costs and prices of them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to pack these guys up and uh, get these guys ready to go. So these are different size bags I use. Um, you got the eight by twelve and the twelve by twenty. Um, these I get I get off of these on Amazon. Um, these run basically a buck fifty a piece. I got twenty of them for I think thirteen bucks, and I got twelve of these for twenty one bucks. So these are buck buck fifty. These are buck seventy five. So just another cost you got to figure in when you're starting to get into shipping here. So once the cryo packs start defrosting or whatever they do, that solid is going to become a liquid inside. They say you could put it, um, I always check with the temperature, 
uh, make sure I'm not putting it in too hot. I want to try and keep it at low 80s, mid 80s um, when I put it in the box. Uh, they say you don't need to tape it to the to the top or anything. You can put it right in the box. I'm going to separate it with some paper or uh, or that pillow stuffing. Um, for one snake, I use the smaller box. For more than one, I use the bigger box. And I'll put it in the bag and pick it up. I'll probably tape it to the side or the bottom just so it's not moving around or anything. But uh, that'll be it. So that's the cryo packs. Um, I use the heat tape. Again, anything between 40 and 70 degrees, always double check with the, with the shipper, but between 40 and 70, I use a heat pack or cryo pack, depending on the destination location. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this helped. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll keep you posted. Bye.